Arsenal Fan TV, Mo, I've got to put you on the spot because I remember that night when we signed Welbeck, you was a little bit, mm. but fair play to you. Since then, you've been saying, listen, I'm starting to warm to this guy. He's looking like he's going to do the business. And tonight, he turned up. He was brilliant tonight. And, you know, I always say, right, if I say some, if I have an opinion that's detrimental to Arsenal, I crave to be proved wrong. You know, it's not that I want to be proved right at the expense of this club that I love. So, Welbeck was fantastic tonight. I was absolutely delighted with him. But I wasn't underwhelmed when we signed him. Today, though, you know, all the people that have been saying to me he can do a sturridge and he's got loads of ability and he just needs to be tried up front, it looks like there's they're the first signs. They're the roots of them being right and me being wrong. And, mm. uh, and long may it continue. Mm. He was, um, oh, I, know, I, I was just so impressed by him. I think the first finish, that, the first goal that he got, that finish wasn't exactly like a clinical finish that we've been used to seeing from some of our strikers in the past. After that went in, though, you could see there was more confidence in his play. Mm. The next two finishes were top, top draw. Mm. You know, they were absolutely superb. And delighted for him. I, was just, I just hope it continues. And, and United fans watching that, they ain't got no Champions yeah. League to start off with and then they must be kicking themselves watching that tonight. Exactly, exactly. But you know, if... Uh, if Who's Welbeck, fouled out that guy? Yeah, just asked. If Welbeck outscores them lot, uh, that would just be absolutely brilliant. And, um, you know, I, that would be the sweetest bit of it all. You know, if, if they sell him to us for 60 mil and he tears the league up and he like fulfills all this promise that so many people told me that he's got, that would just be absolutely brilliant mm. to, to rip into United fans, mm. a man clad doing the business for a London club, just like all the London-based man supporters. It'll be beautiful. <laughs> It'll be absolutely beautiful. But today as well, just what a bl brilliant, brilliant performance. A uh, bit disappointed that Chesney got the red, but you know, mm. what can you do? Just uh, at least there were no injuries. Mm. And uh, For Spina, when he came on, I thought he, he did all right. Pulled yeah. off a couple of great saves. He did, yeah, he did all right. And, uh, you know, everything that he did, you can tell like he's an experienced keeper. He parried it away from goal, nothing. Just mm. the obvious, simple things, but he did them well. And, you know, other than that, Meza Ozil, he looked interested again today. He didn't, have a, he didn't have a winter break. He didn't have a summer break, really, with the World Cup, playing all the games. And you could see that in the early few states, uh, games of the season. And you can tell he seems a bit more refreshed. Mm. But I can't help but think with him, he needs to hit the gym a bit and do a Sanchez. He needs to bulk up. He needs a bit more upper body strength. If you watch that game again, you see whenever he received the ball with a man behind him, putting a bit of pressure on him as you're going to get, mm. he seemed to lose the ball a lot. You, you can't really pick him out from a throw and think he'll hold it up. But, you know, that's a very, very slight criticism. Other than that, you know, it was a brilliant, brilliant performance. And... Mm. Uh, We've got a big one on the uh, Big the one Sunday, Chelsea yeah. away. We all know it happened here last year. Yeah. Um, it's going to be tough. I was yeah. watching them last night. They, they are a decent, well, they're more than a decent team. They're a very good team. It's going to be a tough game, but can this give us a lot of confidence going into that game? Yeah, without a doubt. And, you know, I, I think it is really, really important that we've got Welbeck there. I don't want us to have that high line that we did last time. You know, mm. that really caught us out. I want us to be a bit more pragmatic in our approach and ha have a bit of a deeper line. And we've got pace up top now. We don't. The whole team doesn't need to push up. We can leave that space in behind their defence for Welbeck to exploit. And I'm glad he got a hat-trick today because he's going to have a lot of confidence going into that game. And that's the thing, look, Welbeck did brilliantly today, but Galatasaray were very, very poor. They made us look better than what we even played. Mm. The They're truth, wrong. the truth will be when Welbeck comes up against teams like Chelsea, against a defence like that that's well organised and are going out on the pitch thinking we're going to win this game. What will Welbeck do against that sort of defence? And can he do the business there? You know, today he had he basically put all the chances he had away, more or less. Against Chelsea, you're going to get one, maybe two chances. Will he put them away? Because against Dortmund, against City, he's just fallen short. Today he's got the hat trick. He's been brilliant. Let's bring that over onto, onto the Chelsea game. And if, if he gets one chance and puts it away, then let's see a pragmatic approach from Arsenal and just uh, tie it up. Get the Arsenal Fan TV app available on Apple and Android now.